Hey guys, welcome back to Rated Homeschool. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, I'm Christina, homeschool mom of five kids, ages one, two, five, nine, and 13. Today I'm gonna share with you how to build a bird-themed busy bin, or you could say sensory bin. So the last few weeks on my channel, I've been sharing some sensory bin ideas for not just toddlers, but also preschool, kindergarten age kids as well. I've shared my pond sensory bin. I've shared our garden sensory bins, which we are still using and we've used them in various ways and we'll continue to use them a little bit longer. But those last two bins, I could not include my one-year-old in using those because they included beans as the main material or the water beads as the main material and she puts both of those in her mouth. She's 15 months. And so I wanted to come up with a busy bin or a sensory bin that she could use as well. One that her, my two-year-old and my five-year-old could all play with. And so I'm really excited about the one I'm sharing with you guys today. It doesn't have like a sensory substance in terms of like something for them to dig through like your typical sensory bin would have like water or beans or rice or water beads or something like that. This one is a little bit different. I'm a little hesitant to call it a busy bin because I feel like it can have a little bit of a negative connotation like busy work, which I'm not a huge fan of, but this is not what a busy bin is at all. This is a carefully curated bin of themed materials that will keep your child busy, but will also keep them engaged in something that is beneficial for them to help them learn. So something to keep them off of a screen, off of an iPad, off of watching TV. And frankly, if you need to get something done, like homeschool your other children or cook or anything like that, this is a huge help. This sensory bin was inspired by Gina over at Gina B Homeschool. So if you are not subscribed to her, definitely go subscribe her channel. I'll link it below. She just recently did a video all about her themed toddler busy bins where she shows you all the different ones that she does and how she uses them. So I highly recommend going and watching that. So this one was inspired by hers and I made a couple of changes and then kept some things the same. So you can go over there and see like another example of a bird themed busy bin. I was really excited about the bird themed busy bin because all of my kids love birds. If you've been following my channel since I started, you know that North American Birds was our very first homeschool unit, period, and specifically our very first gather round homeschool unit. So I just want to say that you could do this busy bin along with a bird study if you're doing a unit study or just on its own. You could use it as review later on to kind of review some of the things that you learned. So it's somewhat of a review for us, but also just a fun way to learn about birds. We all love birds over here, so it's really, really cool. Let me show you what is in our bird-themed busy bin. The first thing, the most important thing, obviously, are the birds. Now, Gina found her birds at the dollar store, and I'm super jealous because I was not able to find those birds at the dollar store. But these birds that I found, I'm really excited about. We've been loving them. We've been using this bin the last couple of weeks and I've been wanting to share it with you guys, but I wanted to like test it out and just make sure it was like working as well as I thought it would. And my kids love it. I mean, all of my kids. Now my 13 year old, he's more like facilitator and he'll read to them and all of those things, but all my kids love it. So these birds that I found on Amazon, I will link them below in my Amazon shop. These are so cool. These are put out by Audubon. So these actually have the accurate bird call for each of these birds. So I'm super excited about this because I wanted it to be a learning activity. So this will help us learn which birds make which calls. And it's pretty cool. And also for my two-year-old, he's already learning the names of specific birds. And I tried to choose ones that we actually see around here, which is pretty cool. So you have the blue jay, pretty legit. So not the bin you want to use if you don't want any noise. I don't mind the bird sounds. I was actually laughing one morning when I was getting ready for work and I gave them this bin to kind of keep them busy while my husband was doing breakfast and stuff and all of the birds are going off and I'm like, 
It literally sounds like there's a bird sanctuary outside my door, but it was just these. So you have the blue jay, the robin, woodpecker. We also had another kind of woodpecker. It's lost somewhere in the house, which doesn't typically happen because we're so minimal, but it is somewhere in the house and it was Sethi's favorite. So I actually ordered him this one. The other one was sold out, um, unavailable. So hopefully I can find that one or find it on Amazon again. All of these are on Amazon and there are way more birds than what you'll see here. So we have blue jay, we have the robin, we have the woodpecker, we have the black cat chickadee, and finally the cardinal. So I'll probably get one or two more eventually, but I just wanted to start out with these. Um, I love these because they're soft. They're easy for them to squish and make the bird noise. Um, and all of and all of them, including my one-year-old, can safely play with these. There are no small parts that come off or anything like that. Next, I just grabbed these little nesting baskets for nests because one thing I liked about Gina's bird busy bin is she used like nesting material to kind of build their own nest, which I really love that idea. But again, that wouldn't work for my one-year-old because she would put it in her mouth. So I just thought it would be fun to have these so they can put the different birds in their nests. And then I have these wooden eggs. We actually use these for Easter. And so we have these wooden eggs and there's so many things you can do with these. They can just put a few in the nest and then have the mommy bird in there sitting on the eggs. Um, you can have them put different numbers of eggs in different baskets. You could have them put um, more eggs depending on how big the basket is. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use this. You can even just let them play. Like it doesn't have to be a thing where you turn it into something where they have to learn more. There's plenty to learn just by doing this. Then I also use these for my garden bin. These are questionable for a one-year-old. So technically not for a one-year-old. And I just put these in here because Sethi actually was trying to get them out of the other bin to have the bird go get the worm and bring it to their babies. So I thought that was really cute. Again, probably not the best for a one-year-old, but I would maybe only use these if my two-year-old and five-year-old are going to play with it. But these are super fun also. These are also in my Amazon shop. I got these because we were doing that garden bin and we also did a little earthworm mini unit that we got. Next, and this one is the exact book that Gina had in hers and I had to get it. This is the first thing I bought for the bin when I saw it, I was like, I love that. I don't typically like these kinds of books that have the sounds on the side. I'm gonna be honest, I think they're a little annoying. This one though is amazing because again, it has the actual bird's picture and the actual call. And then each page not only has a picture of the bird, but it actually has information about the bird. So even for my 13 year old to go through and read this and read it to his younger siblings, he's learning detailed information about where they're found, what they eat, what the, how they nest, their eggs, their length, and all of those things, even their scientific name. So this is like, honestly, a book from ages one, just for fun, looking at the pictures and pressing the sounds all the way up to my age. Where you can beyond where you can learn about the actual birds so this is a really cool um book to include with this as well then i just threw in this other book that we really loved we really like this series and egg is quiet and nest is noisy um, a seed is sleepy all of those it has beautiful illustrations and also like lots of information so i included this as well i did also have a ranger rick jr magazine in here that had the robins on the front that I thought it was like perfect but they did kind of like mess it up I'll be honest so I, I threw that one away because it just got like two tore up it was mostly my one-year-old that did that so that if you had older kids is really cool another really cool thing to include I love the idea of having books in here with the toys to play with lastly and this one is super fun this one I'm gonna be honest I thought it was a little bit a little bit bigger so that I wouldn't have to worry about jewels too much. 
I don't let Jules use this. That's why I keep it in the box. If I was gonna let her use it, I probably wouldn't keep it in the box. I would just put it in the bin because I don't want her using it. It does say ages three and up like a lot of things do. But my two-year-old absolutely loves this. So what I usually do because I try, I'm trying to teach them to play together with stuff, but then I also like when there's something like this and I can say, okay, Sethi, like when he starts getting a little frustrated because she's taking the birds or the eggs or the nests or anything like that, I'll say to him, why don't you grab your little baby birdhouse and take it to the table and he'll come and sit at the table because she can't get up here and she can't reach it. So it kind of works out. So she'll stay on the floor playing with the birds and the eggs and the little nests and he'll play with this. And sometimes I'll give him the little nest and I'll show you um, kind of how he does that. So this is really adorable. This comes with these little tweezers. All the little birds color coded in their little birdhouses and it's really cool because it helps with fine motor skills. So I'll have him take them out and put them all in the little nest and then I have him put him back and he has to match up the color. So he'll put the pink bird back in the pink nest and the orange bird back in the orange nest and it's a great little activity for him. He absolutely loves it. Let me know in the comments if you do themed busy bins or sensory bins. What are your favorite busy bins that you do? Definitely go check out Gina's video about her toddler busy bin because she has so many ideas in there. So many more that I want to try as well. Um, I'll probably put them together over the summer to kind of give my two-year-old some more things to play with and my one-year-old as well. Let me know if you try this in the comments. If you like this video, click the like button, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. I have plenty more toddler, preschool, and early elementary ideas coming your way. Tons of homeschooling content as well. Big family life, mom life, all of those things. So hopefully I see you again in my next video. And until then, stay rooted.